make waffles. Now I use a basic recipe. Basic Belgian waffle recipe as my base, and then I spice it up with different seasonings as I see fit. <laughs> okay, so, so the you first, might want to get an apron. Yeah, you you may want Aprons. an apron. I got my special apron on. Yeah, Ember's got her special apron on. Anna's got her special apron on. I got my nice old apron that's falling apart on. Okay, so um, the first thing we need is two cups of flour. I'm going to move the butter out of the way. We'll get back to that later. Butter or an egg. So two cups of flour. I just use generic whatever's on sale flour. But we had this flour for a long time. Not a long time. We just don't use flour a lot. So now, you can be a perfectionist and make them... Um, a perfect level, I just approximate. But for later in the video, we used whisk, but if you don't really kind of like can do this, you could use like a fork, a spoon, but forks and whisks are the best. Whisks. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add is three quarter cups of sugar. Yep. You know where three quarter cups is on here? Nope, that's two thirds. Oh, I Three got quarters. there at the yep. six. Right about at the six, that's right. Okay. That's a cup. That's too much. Wait. We don't want it too sweet because we're going to add. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I dumped too much out, yeah. Uh, Rather have too much than too less. Why do we have a baby spoon in the sugar? Because the baby. So my baby sister's in her pink polka dot apron with a wiggle tiny pocket. Okay. Here you go. Do not use the whisk for this. So kind of get that sugar You can just dump it. Dump the whole right. thing in there. Chunk. And then just lightly mix it. I'm showing you. Lightly mix it with the flour. Okay, I'm going to get the baking powder ready. We want three and a half teaspoons. Now I don't have measuring spoons. Three and a half. One. What comes after one, Ember? Two. I'm not dumb. I never said you were. Three. Three. And then a half. Which is about a regular teaspoon. And then a half. Just lightly mix that together. See how it got from lighter to darker to lighter again? I'm going to zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. See right about there? See how it's darker around it? Right here, right there. That's where the lightness is. But on our camera, you can't really see it. That's just the light reflecting from the lights up above. And so that's mixed well enough. Now we're on to the next step. Don't we have to add in some of the butter? Not yet. So we're doing this recipe by scratch. We have this cabinet behind us that you can see, and in it we have some old pots, cups, and stuff like that. But in there, we have some pancake batter, because my sister, she likes it, to grab it and eat it. But you could always just use that and toss it in your waffle maker. But it's fun to make your own. Uh-oh. And I have a couple of recipes on the fridge for like some yummy smashed bananas. It might sound gross, but it actually is pretty good. I can't spell it correctly, so my mom would just type it out. Remember, sweetie. Stop running on, we're talking waffles. Okay, bananas go good with waffles. And when we have waff uh, bananas and strawberries, I'll be teaching baked bananas and strawberries. Well, and good. I fry them. Fry them. Okay, so most most recipes call for two large eggs. I don't like an eggy waffle, so I use one. I use two. Accidentally put eggshells in there. Now. Mom, let me see that egg. No, because there's something specific we're doing with this egg that I didn't tell you about. And we got flour in here. Sorry. Okay. So. We're going to put the egg white in, in a there. separate container. 
And then we're going to put the egg yolk in here. I'm using the coffee spoon. And the yolk goes in there. Don't do anything with that yet. Hold on, I want to show them something. It kind of looks like an egg, doesn't it? That's because it is an egg, Papette. No, that's just the yolk, like the outside. It's like a giant white. Okay, Emma, I need you to scooch down. Anna, Mommy needs that. Thank you. Well, so, while I am beating this egg white until it is stiff, while I'm beating the egg white until it is stiff, the white moves, Ember is now going to add one and a half cups of milk into So what we're 
we're going to do now is we're going to hope that my broken waffle iron will work. Halfway broken. The joint is broken on one side. Now Ember is going to manhandle this. <gasps> we take our non-stick spray and we coat the iron. Lightly. And we take a ladle. Don't drop. Hey, Mommy, who gets to lift the spoon? Nobody. Really? Yep. Why? Because this is batter. This isn't cookie batter. And we're going to put it in the center. And I believe it's a scoop and a half with this one. You don't want to fill it up all the way because it's going to rise. And as soon as you get it in... Masinka! You close it. Anna, no. My sister has the cutest little apron. She's got a pocket right here. Batter all over it. Yeah, she's got this cute little... Oh, mommy! That's fine. It's not ready yet. Anna, wait. Because it's not ready. You don't want to lift it up too much. They want to look. What if they want to peek? It rides. Okay. And I'm going to hand this back to my mom. Now, Ember, if you want to get a clean bowl, I have a job for you. Okay, I'll get my piggly wiggly. Anyways, Ember has a whole, well, almost a whole set of little piggy kitchen tools. And this is a little spatula that's meant for when you bake brownies or cookies and you let them cool. And waffles and stuff like that. You take this and out to serve it. You're not supposed to put it on hot. I had this piggly okay. wiggly egg maker. So this is pretty egg much butter. done. So there's basically four pieces and it gets really hot. It's hot, and it is basically four pieces, and what I do is it's somewhat still attached. I take it, and I fold it in half. Hot. My mom knows I like my nice and crunchy, so this is either going to be hers or my sister's. Okay. Now, the first one always comes out the worst. But then the second comes out the best, and the last one is my favorite. So then we just pour in one. Two. Two scoops and close it. Two full messy scoops. Amber, come here. I'm just watching one of my favorite things in the world. Take some sugar, and it doesn't matter how much sugar you put in. I just like a lot. Ember, can you get me a fork to mix this with? Oh, you already did? Thank you. You technically already talked. This is about two cups of sugar. There's some clumps. Yeah, there's clumps. And this is ground cinnamon. Approximately about a tablespoon. And we just mix it together and set it off to the side. This makes a really good topping. Oh yeah, it's really good. And it kind of is like Christmas, but a mixture with fall. Since it is pretty close to my birthday, my mom knows I like special like, breakfast food for me and my birthday. Ember is going to be ten in eight days. And it's on a school day. I have two days off of work before her birthday. Today is one of them. So I'm doing special cooking, and we're taking a super load of videos, and I'll be uploading them throughout the week, special for Ember's birthday. I think I'm going to try and upload one a day. I'm not promising anything, but I'm going to try. And if your waffles come good. out poopy, it's okay. So this is what it looks like. 
basically like a pinkish brown sugar. It's a tan. Okay. And you put the sugar back behind the toaster so your sister does not get it. Or see it, really. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Is it one of the ones that I might like? Oh, this was going to be a good one. I forgot to respray the pan. Pat. So it's sticking to the top. Off. You want to try it? It's good, right? Cinnamon me, vanilla you. Perfect, thank you. Okay. No, Give what? your sister a little bit to try. That's up. That's a little bit. Mm. And if you're using an electrical waffle iron, it's best to plug it in and turn it on while you're making and mixing all the ingredients. This way it gives it time to heat up. So when you start to cook, you're not waiting for the temperature to heat up. Typically when my kids uh, run away. They like the mixing part, but they're not too fond of the Ow, cooking Ow, my toe, part. my toe, my toe. I just stubbed the one. Okay. Now, it also helps to have a fork. waffles are soft until they cool. And they're soft and fluffy on the inside. And they are crisp and crunchy on the outside. Just without the right size spatula, it is very difficult to get them out without burning yourself. close this and cook that off because I forgot to spray it. And um, the day that I bought this or the day after I bought this, I wound up dropping it down a flight of stairs. So At Grandma's house it was it? It's broken and somebody put it back together for me and used a plastic straw and the wrong glue and it came apart again and I've had this for years and it's worked. You know, you don't have to have the perfect, you don't have to have the best. You just have to have the functional. As you can see, the stainless is starting to oxidize. I got rust spots on it. A lot of this stuff won't come off. No matter how hard I scrub it. And what I like to do for Ember on her birthday is, even though I'm allergic to pork fat, I will cook up some bacon and I will crumble it into the batter and I'll bake it in with the waffles. I'll also do this with sausage. And she absolutely loves it. Top it off with a little maple syrup and you are good to go. If you have an electric mixer, it'd probably be better to use that because it would whip it up and make put more air in it and be a little fluffier. So this part takes the longest and it is the most boring aspect of making waffles. Huh. Sitting and waiting for them to cook one at a time. And this is you have like 27 waffle makers. Ever make sure that's what? Uh -huh. No, make sure that. Oh, you're actually cutting that for what I did. Yeah. Where's the bacon? I didn't do the bacon. I made 
cinnamon and nutmeg instead. Have fun! Anna, is that good, num num? Fun. Yeah. I think. Yeah, you're such a good picture taker. Uh, Adi, wanna know the best place to do this? Like, do this all over again, mommy. You know the best season and place. Mhm. Mm Grandma's house on Christmas morning. conversations in the comment section. So if there's anything specific you want to see us cook, anything specific you want to see us grow, anything specific in general about life with children you want to know about, just put it in the section below. As she's trying to climb up the fridge.